Hey everyone, welcome back to Lumber Capital Log Yard. In today's video, I'm going to be going more in depth about scaling and the board footage of logs. And we're going to see just how much we can make in a day uh, as far as like production versus actually what you will receive when it's all said and done. So yesterday I added up the log scale, not the lumber scale. And I got a lot of comments asking why I didn't give the board footage of the lumber. The reason for this is you can do it both ways. It just depends on what you were trying to figure out through your calculations. If you add up the scale of your logs, then you can determine if you are buying the logs, the amount of money you spent in material that day. From there, you can find the board footage of your lumber that you produced that day and subtract it from the, the amount of money you spent on materials aka the logs, to find the real profit of your day. So this is Wood Miser's board foot calculator, and I would recommend that you guys get one of these. Uh, they're super helpful, and I'll show you how it works. So you can see here we have the width. So we have a one by three. Let's just go to a one by 10. All right, so we have a one by 10 and then in feet, say it's a 10 footer. You can see that there is 8.3 board feet in a one by 10 by 10. So what you can do is you can count all of your boards, write down every single dimension and how many you have, and then basically you sit here with the board foot calculator and calculate out all of your board feet. So that takes a lot of time and we don't usually do that because of just the pure time it takes to uh, add up all the board footage. It's not that big of a deal if you don't produce that much. When my dad was learning, running the LT35, he did it all the time, uh, but he didn't have mountains and mountains of lumber that he cut that day because it was uh, just him and he was on a slower mill. I also got a lot of comments from people who were surprised we didn't run the mill eight hours a day. And I, I would kind of have thought it was obvious, but there's a lot of other things that need to happen in like every single day. Think about it, we have to sticker <laughs> and we have to get all this out, all that, everything takes time. And we have a lot of other things that we do like bundle firewood, make cutting boards. And so actually the funny part about it is that the trailer can't actually hold more than five hours worth of lumber if we are productive that day that trailer is usually full by five hours so it actually takes usually the rest of the day to end up stickering it and making everything nice so it's not like oh just go sticker and then hop back on the mill uh, it probably takes us about two hours to sticker the whole trailer and so if we run it for five hours sticker it for two that's seven then another hour to do the hundred other things that need done just to keep the business flowing properly 
could we run the mill for eight hours? Yeah, we could get away with running the mill for eight hours, definitely. We have so many orders and we basically can use all the lumber that we can cut. So it's not that we don't have enough market for it. Um, it's just the fact that there are a hundred other things that also need done just so we can run the mill the next day. This morning, we spent an hour moving all of the flitches and all of the slabs out of here and then also loading the deck and we're going to have to load the deck again so there's a lot of other things that involve purely running the mill just to run the mill we have to do all this other thing so to have the mill running a full eight hours a day would mean that we would have to work about a 15 hour day so that's kind of crazy um but to answer your question that is why we're not running the mill for over five hours Thanks for watching everyone. Remember to like and subscribe and follow us on Instagram at lumbercapital07. And I'll see you guys next week. Enjoy your weekend.